Just in time for Doctor Who's 59th anniversary, character options have revealed the next online exclusive sets in their 5.5 inch figure range. It is the Regeneration set, or the 13th Doctor Regeneration set, a two-pack with the 13th Doctor as she appears towards the end of The Power of the Doctor, in the outfits originally worn by the Master following the Force Regeneration, and David Tennant's 14th Doctor making his debut in the 5.5 inch figure line. The figures come in some very classy new style packaging with the new Doctor Who logo on the front, which is also making its debut in the character range. And then inside you kind of open up this door on the front and you have this lovely window inside displaying the figures there in all their glory, along with a little bio on both of the Doctors included in the set on the inside of the door. So let's talk about the two figures we get inside this set, the 13th Doctor and the 14th Doctor. So first of all, of course, we do have Jodie Whisker, the 13th Doctor, in this sort of variation of her normal outfit. So there's been some new tooling there, I think, in terms of, of the jacket, it's kind of sculpted on the scarf, that kind of looks to be one piece, and a new chest piece with the 7th Doctor's jumper, the 10th Doctor's tie, and then the shirt underneath as well. We have the 5th Doctor's celery on her lapel. Some newly sculpted sleeve pieces too. Uh, I'm not quite sure which Doctor's outfit this is meant to be an allusion to, so if anyone knows, then please let me know down in the comments. Moving further down, we have trousers apparently inspired by the second Doctor. We have boots apparently inspired by the 11th Doctor. And I think that's just about it for all the uh, little variations and new bits and pieces and quirks on this figure. But yeah, lots of, of new bits and pieces really. I mean, uh, obviously it is still a 13th Doctor figure. It is still using that same base sculpt. But a lot of effort has gone into this, into making it different, adding all those little bits and pieces on. You know, it's obviously a very kind of fanish figure, right? This isn't kind of something you'd find in, in B&M, I suppose, or just on a more general sale. I'm not sure anyone was necessarily asking for this as, as a figure or expecting to get a figure of this costume. You know, it's more like the type of thing that customizers might make, for instance, and I believe people already have. But it is nevertheless very nice to have this sort of moment in time, this, this one-off outfit immortalized in figure form. You know, it is an unusual choice. It's very much like stuff like the curator, I think, back in the day. Obviously, that's a figure that, you know, people were very pleased to see. But it's like they only kind of made that because it was an older version of Tom Baker and, and they knew it would sell. And I think it's a similar thing with this, you know, because it's a very fanish outfit. Like I say, with all these references back to previous Doctors and stuff, you know, it is kind of eye-catching. And it will possibly appeal to people that aren't necessarily fans of this Doctor or of this era, but you know, they'll pick it up anyway because it's got all of these references back to old Doctor's costumes. And of course, the other reason that people are going to be wanting to pick up this set is because it features the 14th Doctor in figure form for the very first time. I believe actually the first figure of the 14th Doctor full stop in any range, you know, be it character or anything else. And this is just so wonderful to see, you know, he's barely been on our screens for a month, like literally actually a month on the day that this is released on the 23rd of November, Doctor Who Day, because it was the 23rd of October that the power of the Doctor went out and the 14th Doctor made his debut. But yeah, no, I think particularly because we've only got this Doctor for the next year. I mean, he's only going to be on screen for like a matter of, of days or weeks or whatever in November of next year. But, you know, he's going to be the incumbent Doctor for the whole of the 6th anniversary year from, from now until this point next year. So it's really nice that we've got this chance to add him to our collections, you know, before he's even appeared on screen properly in his proper on-screen debut. And sort of make our own adventures with the 14th Doctor and have him on the shelf, have him to play with whatever, have him to, to use in figure photography over the course of this next year. And again, lots of new sculpting going on here. I'm not entirely sure whether they've reused any parts from the previous David Tennant 10th Doctor figures. I mean, at a glance, you know, maybe the, the legs are the same. They do look pretty similar. Although, you know, I've got to give it to them with, with the new paint apps and stuff. You wouldn't necessarily know. But yeah, I, I would probably wage that they are the same sculpt. I'm not entirely sure. If anyone can confirm that, please let me know down in the comments section. Then we have a new chest piece with a new kind of patterned blazer, the new tie and the shirt. We have a new coat, obviously, because the cut and the colour and style of the 14th Doctor's coat is very different to that of the 10th Doctor's coat. And it's got this very interesting texture on it as well, you know, I believe to kind of give that effect of, of tweed or whatever that the material is of the 14th Doctor's coat. Which looks a little bit peculiar in the photos, I won't lie, but you know, hopefully in person it'll look alright. 
And then most intriguingly, perhaps, we actually have ball-jointed arms on this 14th Doctor figure. Now, obviously, there was that prototype of the 10th Doctor with ball-jointed arms going round a few months ago now, maybe like a year ago. I'm not quite sure when it was. And we were meant to be getting that in the 10th Doctor B&M set this year, that new revised sculpt. But instead, we just got you know, the existing or original sculpt without the ball-jointed arms. So it's great to finally have a David Tennant figure in the line with the ball jointed arms. Because like I say, on the 10th Doctor long coat sculpt, which they've used time and time again over the past like 15 years, the arms weren't on a ball joint. So they had limited sort of poseability. You couldn't have him sort of like stretching out to regenerate or anything. You'd only move the arms up and down. And you also couldn't move them side to side. But these new arms do have that sort of bicep swivel feature. So a lot more poseability on these arms. And who knows, fingers crossed, maybe you know, at some point in the near future, character will rectify that mistake with this year's B&M 10th Doctor set and finally give us a 10th Doctor with the updated arms to go alongside this 14th Doctor. And last but not least, we have a new head sculpt, of course, because, of course, David Tennant is, again, like, 15 years older than he was when he played the 10th Doctor. So it wouldn't have made sense to just, like, reuse the same hair sculpt because, you know, he's got a different hairstyle, he's got a different sort of look about him. He still looks, you know, obviously the same, but just, like, older, I guess. It's really funny, actually, because I recently filmed a video with Oscar from Mono Supreme about the future of Doctor Who merchandise, and it's actually due to go out later today, funnily enough. But in that video, he was sort of talking, you know, about the future of Doctor Who merchandise, you know, going into 2023 with the 6th anniversary year and with the 14th Doctor, with the 15th Doctor. And we were kind of speculating about, you know, whether they would just use, you know, the, the same existing sculpt for David Tennant as the 10th Doctor and just give it like a new paint job or like minimal new sculpting to make a figure of the 14th Doctor. And now we have our answer for that a lot earlier than we might have anticipated that, you know, this is largely a new sculpt for the 14th Doctor, which is really, really great to see. So overall, I think this is a really, really stunning set. You know, two figures that fans are going to be very, very keen to get their hands on, especially that 14th Doctor, you know, to complete the Doctor lineup. Well, apart from Joe Martin, who, you know, fingers crossed, we may see in the range one day eventually. But to be able to have the, the incumbent Doctor, you know, the 14th Doctor, so soon after he first appeared on TV is just going to be really, really special and really, really nice to have him, you know, to, to kind of lead us into this 60th anniversary year. So in terms of when this set is going to be released, pre-orders are open from today onwards. And there have been some problems with the site crashing, I believe. But I think hopefully, you know, touch wood when this video goes out, those problems will have been solved and you'll be able to find this set on the Character Options website. I will leave the link in the video description if you want to go and check it out. And it retails at £29.99, which is a really great price for what you get with this. You know, two collector's figures with, you know, lots of new sculpting on them. And the set is due to be released and delivered in early January 2023. So not long to wait at all. You know, a bit longer than we might have liked. Uh, but, you know, hopefully, you know, they will be with us sooner rather than later. And we'll have these two figures to, like I say, kind of see us into this 6th anniversary year. And you know, to reflect back on the power of the Doctor. And also to look forward to the 60th specials in November of next year. But what do you think of this set? Do you think it's a good set or a bad set? Is it one that you'll personally be picking up or passing on? And are you as excited as I am to see a 14th Doctor figure join the line so soon? Whatever the case, please do let me know your thoughts down in the comments. If you have enjoyed this video, please do leave a like and subscribe if you're new for more stuff like this in the future. And if you'd like to go the extra mile in supporting the channel, you can find the link to my Patreon page in the video description. But otherwise, until the next one, thank you so much for watching, and goodbye for now.